Hey guys, uh, just left the hotel. I'm headed over to the Civic Center in McMinnville, Tennessee for uh, pre-registration. Gonna get my packet, all of that good stuff. Good morning, everybody. It is triathlon day. Hey guys, I'm here at the hotel, waking up. First and foremost, coffee. This is my travel mug. It has the Kirk crest on. Cerro said, Serio is the Kerr motto. And it means late, but in earnest. Um, so let's, let's do a little uh, checklist here. I have watched every YouTube video that I can think of. I have carved up. I have trained. You know, I, I will say that being the day of my very first attempt towards triathlon, that um, You kind of, you get to the day of and you think, I wish I'd train more. I don't know if everybody feels that way. But I do. You know, I get to something and I think, oh man, I wish I'd had, I should have really pushed more. I should have stirred the body up a little more, you know. Um, but hey, it's going to be a fun day nonetheless. Uh, there is one thing stirring that I will make mention of, not in great detail, as that would be wrong, but my stomach has decided this morning, usually I'm a person who rock solid stomach, my stomach this morning has decided to um, have a revival. There's a revival in the land. So uh, <laughs> we will see how that works out. Until then... I'm your host, Captain Underpants. No, I am Jason Kerr, and this is my journey from chemical poisoning to triathlon. <clears throat> so I'm gonna pull up here and talk to this guy. Good morning, sir. How are you? Doing good. I just parked right over here. Uh, yes. Yes, sir. Are you wearing there? The registration. Back middle way down that building. Thanks so much. Got this bloke in here hanging out with us. I'm seeing a lot of dudes that look like athletes and a lot of Sheila's. G'day. People out here to party. Why I just went Australian, I don't know. But it's a great day to be alive. Yeah. So I'm gonna go in and register. Um, what do I need? I think that's all I need right now. Seven athletes who are linked up to this thing. There's some guys over there. Put one video. Show some of the bikes. Check out that bike, everybody. That's the felt. B12. The felt B12, like the vitamin. This is John, everybody. He and I go way back about 10 minutes. <laughs> We're here in McMinnville City Triathlon. Here's another Cervelo. We're gonna keep you updated. The drones are gonna flash. We're at the pool, and uh, this thing is huge. As you can see, I'm gonna take you around and show you the, um, that's the transition run area. There's the tents. And uh, I'm nervous, just being absolutely honest. All right, these are the lanes see that. It's a beautiful pool. So we've got, uh, from what I understand, we're going to start out here. We zipper up lane one, we cross over, come back down, cross over, 
up, cross over, down, cross over, up, and then you make your way out. There's a, a slip that goes over. So it's gonna be a different type of swim. There's no flip turning going on. And uh, that's it on the straight. Right here is where we will begin shortly. There's the timer for the wonderful leg strap. It's gonna be fun. That's 50 meters. Two. You guys can see these are the uh, chairs for the time frames for the swim. That's gonna be me right there. So I think probably more like that. But these are the time frames for the swim. And this is the actual pool itself. Videoing for insurance sake. <laughs> Jim. How you doing, Jason. Jim? I'm fine, Jason. You ready for today? I am, and it's starting to feel great. It's a beautiful day.
Hey guys, I'm hanging out here with this awesome race organizer. Give everybody your name. Matt Fino, uh, McMinnville City Triathlon. Matt, tell us all about today. How's it been going and uh, what's, uh, what's it been like? Excellent, excellent weather, which I'm concerned about. Safety, I've got uh, one road rash elbow, that's it. If that's all hey. I end up with, with a wet course, that's awesome. That's a big day. The course was yeah, great. Uh, are, you, are you the one who made up the run course? Yeah, uh, we, okay. we, we uh, made the run course. It's uh, it's uh, got a few rolling hills in it. Oh, so wait, wait, wait. No, let, let me clarify. Did you show the pool already? Yeah, those few rolling hills, that's kind of like running through the Rockies <laughs> at the Continental Divide. No, it's a great run course. It really is. It's shaded. That helps. Yeah. Um, if you haven't seen, but it's a 400-meter swim, 50 meters, 50 meter length. Uh, Right through there. And uh, we, uh, there's an 18 mile rolling bike course through the countryside and some of the four lane, which we have a closed lane for cyclists. And then uh, on the neighborhood here, we have the 5K, which is, yeah, it's challenging. It is a, uh, it's a sprint distance race, which is uh, very beginner friendly. Yeah. But uh, certainly, uh, I would say a challenging yeah, uh, very much. sprint distance race. Well, this is my first triathlon attempt ever at anything, and it was an awesome day. I cramped on the run, um, didn't mean to, but it happened, but I still crossed the finish line, and it's an incredible day. Um, just very thankful for it all. And uh, how many participants did we have today, Tony? Uh, 75. 75 people. Yeah, which we're a little down because we've got a competing race not too far away, but okay. that's a different story. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit of a sore spot well, with me. Maybe on our YouTube channel, we can blow this thing up next year and get about another 200 people to show up and party with us. Awesome, yeah. yeah? Thank you so much. Man. Right on. And, uh, your first race, right? Very first. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just, I'm so thankful you decided to come to me. Absolutely. I'm, I'm excited to uh, see if I even did any good on my so numbers. You did good. I hope I did. I'm sure you did good. But I'll be back next year, and I'm sure this guy will too. What, how many years has this been going on? Uh, we started doing it uh, seven years. There was a, a little bit of a lapse, but before that, there was a professional team that did it, and I think we actually host it better than oh. the professional team. Yeah. We're cheaper, everything's local. We have local, the volunteers, uh, we, we pride ourselves on very good local volunteers that are actually cheering and pushing people on. Good local food. Yeah. Even good local beer. Yeah. We have, uh, it's, uh, just a, a good good event. I think we, we try to keep everybody safe and everybody have a good time. Have you guys ever thought about incorporating the water slide somehow into the swim portion? That's an excellent idea. <laughs> I have not. Maybe we could start on that side and go down I, and then you start. I'm all about it. Get the kids races going. Uh, we have decided, We have thought about doing the kids race, incorporating it, uh, but it's such a it's such a more dynamic and yeah. we have to really prepare ourselves to start right on. But, well, hey guys. Uh, so thankful today to be here. It was a famous first for me. It will not be the last. This begins in a years and years to come of wonderful triathlon times. Okay, we'll proceed with the race and get everything done. The weather was definitely cooler today than it could have been. David! Yeah, man, come on, brother. Woo! Woo! And we got the Wounded Warriors will have stay standing. We got the Chaz Allen team. It was the family duo. Let's go, guys. Yeah. You got it. I am driving back from my very first triathlon. It was awesome. I had an amazing time. Um, I got really emotional towards the end because my family was there, and it was just good to see them. Uh, but let me give you some stats. My very first triathlon at 45 years old. I came in 17th overall, and I came in seventh in my age group of 45 to 49. Let me tell you why that happened. I did a 400 meter swim in eight minutes, and it was raining cats and dogs, the wind was blowing, so we had the most torrential headwind I've ever ridden in. But I still rode my 18 mile bike ride in 57 minutes so I think my average speed was around the 18s maybe a little bit above um, so eight minutes on the swim I got kicked in the chin by one guy in the swim and my glasses my goggles got knocked off by another swimmer on accident who reached out and brushed my face um, 
So the swim was eight minutes. I lined up in the seven minute line. I believe I could have gotten there, but I actually had to stop to get my goggle back on. And then when the guy kicked me, I had to go to a breaststroke to find a way around him. So, hey, that's part of it. So my bike, if it was a dry day, sunny, the course was slow because the roads were wet. So braking and everything was super slow in turns. Um, and I'm going to be on a tri bike next year. I realized that on a road bike, it destroys your, your run. So I was running fourth place in my age group in the swim, fourth place in my age group in the bike. Then came the run. That's where everything spiraled out of control. <laughs> I'm cruising down the road and uh, on my run. And the first thing out of the gate, this, this run course, it's only three miles, but let me just say, it was the hardest three miles of my life. This thing was like that. Hills everywhere, turns and twisties. And Matt, the course um, and event organizer, he's the one who organized it, Matt. <laughs> no, actually, Matt's an incredible guy and uh, got an amazing family and two little ones, a beautiful wife, and uh, they're great people. So it's an event that I want everybody to come out to. But let me get back to the run on something here. Um, I'm running first hill, and I noticed the back of my leg is kind of getting tense. So I thought, I'll take it easy. I did learn that when you get off the bike, it takes a little while for the blood to go from your legs down to from your uh, upper thighs into your calves and into your feet. My feet felt like toothpicks running at first. I thought, okay, I felt like a 95-year-old man trying to run. I'm kind of hobbling and going, and then it finally got, got moving. My lungs got in the game. Um, so I start my run. I'm going up the hill, and I feel a little twinge in the back of my hamstring. And then it began, I'm sorry, before my hamstring, the teardrop frontal quad by the knee. It started there. I could feel it walloping over just a little bit. So I, uh, you know, the, the aid stations, I'm pounding down some water. And continuing to run. I think my first mile was around the eights. Uh, second mile was in the nines as the cramp went from my front thigh to the back hamstring. Um, I was a mile out from the finish and my right leg just went crazy. I did a little momentary Frankenstein thing. I did not stop running. I said to myself, I don't care if I'm dragging my leg and have to rip it off and throw it over my shoulder. I'm gonna make this thing, even if I have to pogo across the finish line. So, I just kind of pushed through it, dug in, gritted my teeth, and just pushed. It was cramped like crazy. I didn't care, just pushed through. So I encourage everyone, if you're near the area, it's fun, it's a sprint. Some of you that are the elite athletes, it's just a training day for you. You'll blow everyone away. You get handmade art, uh, hand-painted things, the awards and uh, you get a really cool medal I got one and I'm gonna cherish that medal uh, my wife sent me a beautiful text letting me know how proud she was that I didn't need to try to win I just needed to be thankful to be able to cross the finish line because just two and a half three years ago I was flat on my back in the house I'd lost 40 pounds and had chemical poisoning and now I'm running biking swimming, all that good stuff, in a triathlon. So it was a complete day, very thankful, and uh, just want to say I am very, very excited about the future that is before me concerning multi-sport, swim, bike, run, all that good stuff. So I'm going to keep you informed on that. Um, and I will tell you too, the one thing I thought about being 45 years old uh, since we're no matter what your age is, I saw guys out there that were just knocking it down. They were in their 50s and 60s and 70s and still going. And some of these guys had stories that um, were pretty amazing. They overcame the adversity. They overcame doctor's reports. They overcame cancers, all sorts of things to really get out there and make it happen. And so nothing's impossible with him who believes. I'm number 16. That's not a tattoo. That is marker. I was number 16 today. And uh, so today, 
It's been a blessed day. Uh, thankful for my family. Thankful to be a part of this beautiful day that God has created and given me. And I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who allowed this day to happen. Um, I feel like this is a new chapter. We'll see. Um, but I do appreciate every single one of you that have been an encouragement to us. So I want to thank every one of you for viewing today. I hope today you were blessed by some of the footage you have seen for the McMinnville City Triathlon. Until then, I'm your host, Jason Kerr for 40UpTV. Enjoy. God bless you. We'll see you next time.